What is up guys, Asian One Skill here, back with a video for you guys today. Today is March, or it's March 3rd now anyway, but um, as you know, big announcement was from the Nintendo, uh, new console comes out, the Nintendo Switch. So as all you all know, it's a new innovation, um, it's by Nintendo, and it looks pretty cool, damn cool, but... I always have doubts when consoles first come out. Um, I don't usually get consoles right on the release date. Um, I think the only one I did was back when I was a kid when my parents used to get the consoles for me. But now that I'm buying them, I'm very iffy with it. And with all the problems usually with the initial releases, I usually just say no to it. Um, so, unfortunately, it is not the actual Nintendo Switch console unboxing. Um, this is going to be actually the game, one of the games that uh, was uh, out for release date. Um, I managed to pick this one up. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the Master's Edition, um, or Master Sword Edition, I can't remember what it's called. But it's the one tier up, um, and it has that one extra thing. I would actually prefer that. Um, so let's get on with it. Alrighty, so I have gloves because... Um, I was cooking earlier, and I don't think I got rid of the, the smell from the onion or garlic or whatever, so... And I really wanted to show this off. So, as you already know, this is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, unfortunately, this is the special edition. Um, I couldn't get my hands on the master edition. If you got yourself... If you got yourself... Got your... <laughs> getting tongue-tied here. Get, um, uh, still recovering from a cold cough. So, yeah. Uh, sore throat. Um... Manage to get your hands on it, good for you. Um, I'm assuming those are going to go sell for a lot um, by scalpers and resellers and whatnot. So, good luck getting your hands on one. But, nonetheless, if you're not in to the statue or the figure, um, it's actually a Master Sword replica, I believe. Um, a statue, uh, I forgot, I don't know how big, but the box for the special edition is already this big. This is freaking huge, alright? And, just do it. To do a direct comparison, this was the Fate Extella, uh, the Umbra Star, uh, Noble Phantasm Edition uh, on the PS4. Holy shit! This is huge. Big ass difference. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, to be honest with you. I can hear some shaking, I'm assuming it's the coin. Um, there's a replica coin. So, let's just give you guys a quick look at the front. Then the size, so it says special edition on the side. It's like a wrap around, basically. Complete wrap around of the of the, of the art. Let's just do it this way. So yeah. Uh, bottom just has all the info and whatnot. And then once we get to the back, so some scenery and artwork of the game. Really nice. All right, so comes with the game itself. A Nintendo Switch uh, Shelka slate carrying case. So this, I'm assuming when they say carrying case, I'm assuming it's for the screen when you bring it outside. Um, might, it could be, I'm not sure. I don't have the Switch. Unfortunately, I, feel I can't try it. I'll probably get that later on. Um, 24 soundtrack. I don't know if it's a full soundtrack, but 24 seems about halfway for a game. But who knows? Uh, we got the uh, tapestry worn out map, so we'll take a look at that, and then a replica coin, all right? And the game is apparently compatible with the Amiibo figures, um, and they did release info on those um, and whatnot, so if you want it, get your hands on those quick, because I guarantee you they're probably going to come out, or they're going to be probably sold out for a while, um, judging from that. Um, and knowing Nintendo, they don't tend to be able to restock stuff fast enough, so... You know, um, the NES Classic and the Fire Emblem Amiibos and all that other crap. So yeah, they're not well known for that. So, let's open it up. Alrighty, so got that open. As soon as you go inside, you, this is what you see. Assuming that's the case right there. So let's actually slide everything. We can slide everything out, actually. Okay, no, 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 no. All right, that's the opposite way. Okay, so it's actually the opposite way. So when you're opening it, pull it out from this way. 
this what this backside up. All right. So, alrighty. Ah. So stuff's already kind of falling apart and stuff. So yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. So this the first thing we pull out is the case. It's got its own cardboard cutout, so it's secure, uh, won't fall out or anything, and it's got a plastic wrap over it, so we'll put that out as gently as we could. This is really snug fit. Alrighty, so there you go again. Some kind of pattern artwork. Pretty nice. Alrighty. Whew, this feels like a sturdy case. I'll be honest with you, this is sturdy as hell. Alrighty, plastic off. Don't you just love it when you open up a, a game and it, it or a collector's edition and then or the fresh smell or even a brand new video game, you know? So very solid. Um, pretty sure you wouldn't want to step on it though. It's just kind of like a drop-proof case in my opinion. It's got a little handle. So background art, back art, and then the front art that they show. Really neat. So these all pop out and it's like kind of the rubber thing. I'm not sure. The zipper also has the logo. So, yeah. Open that up. Ooh, okay. So, you've got your earbuds and game case uh, place you can put here. Or earbuds and accessories, sorry. Um, these, I'm assuming, is the cartridges. Because, remember, we are, the Switch does not use CDs anymore. It uses cartridges, so we'll actually take a look as soon as we open the game. So, yeah, there we go. There's that. And then, I'm assuming... Okay, so this is there's a strap here to hold. I'm assuming the thing in place, the screen or monitor that you bring out um, to play with. So yeah, I really don't know if this is gonna fit. Um, like I said, I can't show you guys that. Um, if somebody does, confirm it with me, please. Um, otherwise, this is just gonna stay in the box. So yeah, I'm not gonna use it. Alrighty. So okay, so there was something that fell out. I think. Think. So we'll actually take it out. Oh yeah, the coin fell out. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, that's not cool. All right, so that's everything. Once you take out the two light uh, trays. Alrighty. So. All right. So this is kind of stupid and funny at the same time. Um, for the coin. They had a, they had the one size stick, but um, it's got a, a plastic cover around it. So this actually opens up, but now that I'm wearing gloves, I can't open it. But anyway, um, but it completely fell off apart in half, but it's supposed to be, but now it's all one piece. So that's fine. So it's a protective coin. So you got the uh, Legend of Zelda logo there and then the other one right there. So it's just a collectible type of thing and it's... Actual metal. I don't. I don't think it's gold though. So, otherwise it skyrocket anyway. So yeah. All right. Next up, we've got the map. So let's actually open this up. Okay. So it's not completely airtight sealed. It's just in the plastic wrap. Okay. So this is supposed to be the worn out map. And just feeling it through the gloves right now, it does feel worn out. And it's actually kind of cool. Much better than the Memories of Celesetta, if you have ever got that one, the uh, Silver Anniversary Edition. So you got that one side, the back there. Dragons and stuff, and all the beasts. Corner, and then... This is like a written map, so it's like actually somebody used it. it smells cool. Neat. So yeah. Sorry, I can't give you guys a deeper, closer look. So yeah, pretty nice. You can probably frame it and put it as a poster and whatnot. So yeah. Alrighty. Alright. I'm very excited to open this game right now, um, even though I can't play it. This is a really small case. This is a very <coughs> similar... This is really dusty. A PSP case. So no more bigger than a PSP case, but... Thinner also, I think. Probably due to the lack of manual and all that other crap. Seeing how... That's how game companies are doing it, right? So, same thing, same art on the front as a special edition. And the back. 
It also has the not for resale. So you can tell that this was a special edition or probably even a master's edition. Let's open this up. Alrighty. So like I said, I won't be I won't be able to play this. I have way too many backlogs and another console to add is just way too much at this point. Okay. Ooh, okay. So there is inside art, so it's got Link climbing up on a, a cliff and then it's got like the background that's really nice. This is a very small cartridge. Very, very small cartridge. Um thicker than a PS Vita one, I can tell you that right now. Um Size wise, I think it's just about the same. It's probably you probably couldn't even tell the difference if it was from far apart. Unless I guess you see the back. And there's something moving in there. I don't know. I don't know if that's normal or not, but that's what it is. There we go. So that's so sucks. No manual. So like I said, you guessed it. You probably all guessed it. And alrighty. So I think we're also missing, are we, do we missing an art book here? I don't think we're missing an art book. No, we're not missing an art book. There is no art book. Okay, so last thing. Soundtrack. So you got the front here. And the back with Link and his bow and arrow. So, I said that there was 24 tracks, and on the front it does say sound selection. So this is not the full soundtrack. If you want the full soundtrack, you're probably going to have to buy it. Um, as an extra, or do what everyone else does, torrent. I know, it's wrong. God forbid, alright? But anyway, I'm not encouraging it. I buy a lot of my soundtracks, um, with really, really favorite ones anyways, um, online, so... Even, even, like, movies and stuff, so... That's what iTunes is for. I know, I'm not usually an Apple fan, but... I have an iPod Nano, so only iPod thing I have for Apple wise. Alrighty. What the okay. Alrighty, so um disc has the pattern right there, really cool. And then you have the twenty-four tracks right there. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look there. And then so this was actually a wraparound. Really nice. And then let's actually pop the CD out for this. And we got another character there. It's Zelda. So yeah. Pretty sure it's Zelda. If it's not, then fucking A, man. I'm an idiot. Pretty sure it is, though. Hopefully it is. I don't know the storyline for this one, so all I know is uh, supposedly they say it's the last one. I don't know, but, you know, they're, they're definitely going to keep milking this. Zelda. Come on. Legend of Zelda. Right? So there we go. So that was the special edition um, for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And you know what? You guys, if you guys got the Switch, let me know uh, how it runs, how it is. Um, is the battery life really uh, when you unplug it and do it on the go? Is it as proclaimed, saying up to six hours or less? Or um, it, are there any problems when you click those um, the Joy Cons uh, back and forth? Uh, anything goes wrong with it? Um, you know all that kind of stuff. Uh, how fragile is the screen? You know that kind of thing. Let me know. Um, really interested in purchasing it, but like I said, I am not very keen on or, uh, ordering a console on first day release. So yeah, and I probably wouldn't have gotten wouldn't have been able to get one anyway. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.